Hi guys, it's Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you um, an Amazon purchase. I was recently contacted by a company on Amazon who puts together and sells these boxes and um, I just wanted to show you what all is inside and then maybe make a little project together. So inside we have some yellow stickers, look like clear stickers. Open it up. Oh yeah, those are really pretty. I like those, those are really pretty. There's some sunflowers, lilies, roses. Oh, we can definitely do something with that. I'm gonna put those back in their package. And then, okay. And then it looks like, well, there's some um, adhesive tape. And then it looks like several packages of collage papers, um, different, different sizes of um, collage papers. Let's let's open this up. I'm kind of starting to get an idea of what I think I'm going to do. I didn't want to be boring and just do like a master board or something, but I think the project I want to do is going to be created from a master board. But yeah, these are these are really these are really pretty. Really pretty images on these papers. Looks like these are a lot of postcards and stuff. So I think we can make something pretty cool here. Um, these also are absolutely fantastic for collaging. If you don't have a lot of scraps built up or if your scraps aren't very diverse in certain ways, um, I need to shut this door. I have a, my craft room is adjacent to my son's room. And we have a little Jack and Jill bathroom, and I didn't want him to uh, come in not knowing what I was doing. So it looks like these may be stickers. Um, oh, no, stickers and papers. Okay. Nope, these are all papers. They're not stickers. So they're just different images. Whoop. I'm going to start dropping stuff here. Oh, I like the mushroom. Different. Um, okay. Just different images here that we can work with. Um, some that are um, already torn into cool shapes. Um, some different labels. Yeah, I think we'll have some fun with this. Okay. So, let's get to work. Actually, I'm going to those out. Okay, I'm going to put this away. Um, so I'm just going to get a piece of cardstock from my stash back here. Just normal, boring, white cardstock. And then I'm going to open these up and grab a few different sheets here. So most of you know, but for those of you who don't, a master board is kind of um, where you just go crazy gluing different pieces of paper and scraps and such um, to a master board, um, if that makes any sense. Oh, I like the airmail. Let me pull that one out. Um, they are great for all kinds of different things. You can make one and then um, make tags out of it. You can, um, well, you can make just about, you can make journal covers out of them. And I've seen so many different ways uh, that people have done master boards. I've seen master boards done with nothing but stamps. I've seen master boards done with, um, stickers, washi tape. It's just basically an eclectic collection of whatever you want to um, put on there. 
Let's see how many times I can say um today. I'm sorry. Happy Father's Day out there to all of the dads, to all of your dads. Or if you are a dad, happy Father's Day to you. I am just, I'm tired today. I don't know why I'm dragging so bad, but I just am. I'm, I don't know. But I thought maybe if I made a video, it would perk me up a little bit. So, there we go. I really like this next one that I'm going to grab because it's like pieces of graph paper and stuff like that. And I haven't seen one like this before where it has the different styles of sheets of paper. I think it's pretty cool. And I wanted to get several sheets out before I started this. Because I hate digging for stuff once I get going. It's just um, a pain in the butt. So, and I like to try to find some that have different colors and stuff on them. So it really pops in your board. And... Oh my goodness. See, my fingers aren't even working today. I like that blue. I'll do that one. And this purple is really pretty. And maybe this green and this green. I like those. Okay. All right. So, put that back in there. And then I think I have some like that. Maybe a couple of these floral ones. I hope everybody had a good Father's Day. We had crazy storms last night. At one point, I woke up and I thought lightning had struck the railroad tracks by our house because it was, I mean, my house shook. It was insane. And I have a, a great Pyrenees, and she is the world's most calm dog. She is a therapy dog. She is strictly for anxiety and of course our um we just love her to pieces so she's definitely you know she's a member of our family but um she is she is the therapy dog and she treats anxiety and it's so crazy to me that storms and fireworks absolutely set her ablaze. She loses her mind. She can't handle it. She, uh, she will wear an end table like a tutu. And I don't know if you guys know much about Great Pyrenees, but, um, ours, they're huge, massive, white, uh, herding animals. And she's about 110 pounds of white fluffiness. And, um, did not enjoy that storm that came through. So we uh, we didn't have a very good night. That may be why I'm so tired today now that I think about it. If I use some common sense here. Alright, so I'm just kind of going through these, seeing if there's any that I like really well that I want to put on this board. And... There's some really pretty ones. And I may not use all these. I don't know. I just, um, I like to have a variety in front of me so that I have a lot to choose from. Oh, that's pretty. I'll take one of those too. All right. Okay. So, by starting out, I'm going to put these image ones to the side because they're going to be more for the top. And up here and we will get started with these. So typically I would put some glue down and then just start putting them on. However, I'm going to try out this glue tape and see what I think. So we're going to take this one here and just You know, when I first started crafting, I knew nothing about glues or otherwise. And so I used double-sided tape for everything. I just thought, 
that's where it's at. This is what I need to use. Double-sided tape, that's what everybody's doing. No, I mean, it's convenient, but it gets expensive after a while. And uh, I mean, this is super easy to use. So when you're putting the paper down, you wanna kind of overlap them just so they uh, give that collaged feel. And this tape is super easy to use. I'm just, it is like butter. It's just rolling. It's not catching or anything, which is really nice. I've used some in the past that aren't that good a quality. Oh, but anyway, yeah, it stormed last night and we went to the town that his parents live in that's just about 20 minutes away just to, you know, say Happy Father's Day and see how they fared for the storm. And there were so many trees down. I was actually really impressed that there wasn't a tornado because it was, it was crazy, like completely uprooted out of the ground. But there was according to um, the powers that be anyway, there was no tornado. So I guess that is a good thing. But man, it was, it was a nutty night, that is for sure. But we were gonna go out to eat and do some other things for Father's Day and I kid you not, Every place in town was closed. Um, electrical outages, mostly. But, so we, we didn't get too much accomplished today. We did go buy a really cool flea market where I was looking for, like, some vintage documents, some vintage, um, you know, ledger postcards, just to kind of see what I could see. And unfortunately, they did not have anything like that but they did have this trunk that was probably a couple hundred years old and I am completely smitten with it and they only wanted 50 bucks so my husband is supposed to be getting that for me as an anniversary gift so I'm pretty excited so it wasn't really a wasted trip it was more just a um we didn't get to do all of the things that we wanted to do, but that's okay. That is okay. Now I've got my son in his room doing his thing. My husband's watching TV. I don't really like that brown. I want something. No, that's not it. Okay, we'll do the purple. And I was just in here crafting my little heart away. I've been trying to find a new series to watch. So if you guys have any recommendations, I would love to hear it. I have, I have Hulu, Netflix, Disney. I've got all the goods. I just need something, something fun, something different, something, I don't know. I've watched... I like some of the supernatural stuff. I like supernatural. I just finished the originals and the vampire diaries and legacies. I like charmed. Um, everybody keeps telling me to watch the Gilmore girls, but I'm, I'm nervous about it because and this is so stupid, but everybody tells me that it'll kick me right in the feels because it'll remind me of the relationship that I had with my daughter. So I'm like, ah, I don't know emotionally if I can handle that right now. That's why I kind of lean towards things that are a little more fantastical, not so close to reality. Because, I mean, let's face it, we live reality every day. And I just I need a break from reality. I really do. It's just... It's a lot. 
No, I think, yeah, I'll put that up there. So these are super easy to work with and they make master boarding a piece of cake. I am just flying through this, which is really nice. There we go. All right, just a couple more pieces, my friends, and then we can, oh, no, I don't wanna cover that up. I'm gonna go that way with that. And then we can cut out some tags and I can show you my idea for today. I've been watching um, older videos of some of the people I'm subscribed to. And I saw one, I think it was on Camellia Crafts. And she, um, I think she learned it from Melina, who is another one of my favorites. And um, it's all on making a tag with a um, window in it. And I thought, because those clear stickers were really pretty, I bet we could make something pretty cool with those. So I think, and it's okay if you have some open space, like I've got a few areas. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat that because I'm just gonna cut out other areas. So at this point, I'm gonna look at these other pages since I've got this mostly done and I'm gonna try to see, like this one, I think I'm gonna tear it just to get those flowers and put that in the corner. more pizzazz and then let's grab I'm going to take this clock and tear it I like the torn edges too I think they just give it a little something something this is nice not getting glue all over my fingers too to be honest I am the world's worst of trying to do this and literally covering myself in glue I don't want those white edges. I thought I wouldn't mind that, but I do mind that. But this, I can use this. I'm trying not to use anything from my stash. I'm just using what they sent in this box, aside from scissors and stuff like that. Maybe some ink. Okay, so I am good with this because when we make the tag, I, well, maybe I'm good with it. Then I just saw this and thought maybe I wanted it. Maybe. Oops. No. I don't know. I don't really, nah, I like it right there. Okay, so I'm going to push these papers kind of out of the way. It's one thing that sucks about fingernails is I never can get a hold of anything. I'm always just pushing it. But I bit my nails since I was six years old, and I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. And so I had him do gel, or not gel nails, what the heck am I talking about? Dip nails. And um, I absolutely love them and I've been keeping up with them and I'm not biting my nails anymore. I'm just still a little challenged when using them. Okay, so now I'm gonna get out, well, I'm gonna use a different cutting board because the cutting board I wanna use is currently covered with everything that I have been working on today. And this one is super dusty because I have not used it in a hot minute, but we are going to use that today. All right, so we are going to do um, I kind of want to capture with in the center here, so I'm going to cut it here, and then I want 
want, I think I want about a three inch tag. So I'm gonna flip this over. Three, uh, three and a half. I like three and a half. I think that's about right on three and a half. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. And see, and I've got these pieces too where I can make journaling cards, I can make more tags, I can make page enders, I can do pockets, tucks, so much with these. These are so diverse. They just kind of give you a, a window of opportunity to do whatever you want to do. So I, now I need to cut it down a little bit. And I think I'm going to cut off some of the top. So I think this has a it do it has a thingy on it that folds ha that folds out you can tell I don't use this one very much and I think I think three by three and a half by seven friends does that sound probably sounds a little big maybe I should do by six three and a half by six and a half you know me, I'm always making things too dang big. See, that would be a really cute tuck. Okay, so here is what I'm going to use. And now I'm going to use my tag punch. No, I'm not because all of you may not have a tag punch. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a corner however I want. Doesn't matter. And then to make this corner match, I'm just going to flip this over like this, upside down from the other side, and I'm just going to cut right like that, and then I have an even tag. So I'm going to ink this up a little bit if I can find my dauber. It's already pretty inked up with gathered twigs today from um, some of the projects I'm working on. I'm, I made some travel journals for um, my husband. Uh, we have a martial arts school and one of his instructors is moving out of town and he has two girls that train and are just the sweetest things and they love to journal. So I thought I would make them little journals to um, go on their new adventure with. So actually I will probably post a video of that later because I want to show those. I was really proud of those. Those turned out really cute. Okay, so in order to make this a window pocket, there's a couple things I need to do. I think due to, I don't think I'm gonna, I was gonna use my big shot and do like a a, a thinlet, a die cut through it, but I think I'm just going to use my hole punch, my large circle punch here. I believe it's a, yeah, it's a two incher. I'm gonna put this away before I hurt myself. Okay. And so I'm going to Go as far as it'll let me go, which I pray with everything inside of me is centered. We're going to find out together. Or should I go? No, I want it this way. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. One, two, and punch. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. But you know what? That's okay. It'll be on the side. It'll be cute. It'll be fine. And then I have this neat little circle for a tuck. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna decide which one of these stickers I want to use. <sighs> Find one that fits. Because they are pretty tall and my circle is not. Um, okay, here's some Here's some shorter ones. No, nope, that's not going to work. Well, I didn't think this through very well. That's all right. That's what crafting is all about, is trial and error and 
discovering, you know, I like those sunflowers and I'm going to use them. We'll just cut them down a little bit and it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. So we'll take these and put them back in their little package. Okay, so now technically you can use packaging. You can use just about anything clear that you want to here as a little window. I am going to use some acetate. I have so many pieces of acetate that is just sitting in my scrap box. So I am going to mark this and just cut it because I'm pretty sure Oh yeah, that'll be both sides. So we're going to just cut right down there. And then I'm just cutting this bad boy right in half. Okay. I don't know what I've got all over this. There's something. Where's the other half of that? Because is that it's a little longer. These, oh wait, it's coming off. I'm not exactly sure. Who knows, probably some kind of adhesive or something, but okay, so we got that. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm only gonna use one piece because I'm gonna back this with coffee dyed paper, which I'm pretty sure since I want to use it as a journaling card, I've got, aha. Yes, I knew I had some scrap in there. So, yeah. I am going to take this, and usually I would glue this down, but these acetate, the acetate, it just, and the Fabri-Tac that I use, it can be really stringy, and then it gets all over the acetate, and it's just a mess. So what I have here is some uh, score tape that is an eighth of an inch, and I love this stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit of score tape down. should do it for us. Okay, let me put that up. And then I have this little tool here that I use. It's just, I actually think I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I just use it to lift up the other edge of this tape so that I don't make a bigger mess here. Oh my gosh, come on, Jody. All right, here we go. All right, so now uh, I'm going to put this down You can see we have our little window and now I'm going to stick this sticker if I can get it separated okay Somebody much better than I probably knows a trick to this that I do not know. 
I see people use the little pointy tools, but that is not working for me. There we go. And let me see where this was going to set again. I'm going to kind of go in the center here. So I'm just going to place this right there. And then make sure I don't have any debris on my inside of my window here. Because once it's glued, you're done. And I am going to get back that tape. And I am going to... You know, I almost think I'm going to leave it open as a side pocket. Yeah, so we're just going to glue here, here, and here, 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 and here, and that way we can tuck right in there. So I'm going to glue the top because you don't want anything getting stuck up there. And then I will glue down this side and the bottom. And then I just have to make sure that I place this exactly where I want it over the sunflower. There we go. Press it down. Right, now I'm just going to cut this out. I love this coffee dyed paper. I'm telling you, my life changed when I found instant coffee. Completely changed. It is so much darker. It just, and it gives such a cool effect because it bubbles. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is it works for me. All right. So, this is our tag so far. You see it on the back, you have journaling space, and then it is a pocket. So, you can put stuff in there and you have your little window. And then I think what we will do is we're going to put an eyelet in the top and I think I'm going to use my big hole. So I just kind of eyeball it to make sure it's straight with my crocodile. And then these, I don't want to talk about this. So this is the disaster that I deal with because I had them all immaculately separated and everything was wonderful and great and good in the world. And then something happened. I don't know. I'm dramatic, so there's no telling. But something happened, and I literally just knocked it off the table. They went everywhere. I had to get a magnet to get them out of my carpet. It was an adventure. Okay, and then we're going to make that. There we go. All right. And then I think I'm just going to grab a little bit of ribbon here. And I may have made this too long, but who cares, right? It's whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to push that through here. Come on. Be careful with this kind of ribbon when you're using an awl because it will poke through the ribbon and you don't want it to do that. Okay, so we are... Am I doing this right, friends? Yes, okay. And then we will just do it like that. Yeah, so there's our tag. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Happy Father's Day again. I will put a link in the description for the product box that, um, that I showed today. And um, if you guys have any questions or anything, email. All my contact information is below and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. Thanks guys. Bye.